about you, Demetrius? I mean, here you are standing on the cusp of history. You've been open about it. I mean, you've said all along, this is where I want to be. First of all, talk about how it feels to now really be on the edge of tying that long standing record. It feels good. I mean, at the same time, you know, I'm just, it's just another fight. And it feels good to be there and hopefully I go out there and be successful and uh, make it happen. I wonder, you know, to, to set those lofty goals, I mean, is that, is that hard to do, you know, to, I mean, something that people have been unable to match? I mean, was that hard along the way to, to set something that high? I don't want to say, I mean, don't get me wrong, when I first became a champion, it was like, we're going for number 10. Well, I don't know what it was at that time, but uh, it was like, we're going for 10, you know. It was just, you know, get through this championship fight, get through this championship fight. And now, as I get older, it's about getting through the training camps because as you get older, and, you know, I don't take any supplements, no HGH, no testosterone, no, no steroids, boy. Um, you know, your body does not recover like it used to. Um, you know, and I have always heard older fighters when I was 23, 24, they're like, oh man, my body's coming. I'm like, yeah, whatever. But as I get older, I realize it's true. It doesn't, it doesn't really bounce back like it usually does. So uh, for me, it's, it's one fight at a time, one camp at a time, and one defense at a time. So if I, uh, not successful this Saturday, same thing. I'm like, all right, let's see if we can break it. Now we tied it, let's see if we can break it. And then after that, I'm like, shit, let's see if we can do 12 and 13, 14. And I'm like, hey, I want to pay you to go 35. Okay, let's go into negotiations. And then if I don't like negotiations, I'll go back down 25. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm just focused on what fight at a time. You want to get to 11 before you start considering the possibilities? You already said you wanted to get the record. So do you want to get to 11 before oh, yeah, you start yeah. talking about 35? Yeah, 10 is just a stepping stone. It's it's The ultimate goal is 11. I mean, right. there's, I mean it's like Floyd Mayweather. When he got 49-0, it's like, why would you stop there? Like, you can easily go to 50-0 to be the only fighter to ever do it. No, I'm going past. My goal is to go past 10. So, But, you know, let's say I go out there Saturday and I, I'm not successful. I far exceeded my expectations to when I got into the sport. Far. I mean, you gotta think, you hear these fights all the time, I was destined to do this. It's my destiny. How the f*** do you know what your destiny is? You're only 25 years old. You don't even have kids. Like, so for me, like, if I, for me to sit up like, oh, it was my destiny to be the champion to do this. No, it wasn't. My, my, I don't even know what my destiny is, you know. I was put in this earth to, to be a good man and to raise beautiful children and have a beautiful wife. And hopefully, you know, I don't know, maybe I was destined to have an ugly ass wife. I, I don't know. So when people talk about this destiny stuff, I'm just like, okay, that's, 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 that's their film. So for me, when I got in this sport, I was just a fan of martial arts uh, and working a full-time job and training um, and doing amateur fights just on the weekend just because it might even be in high school and wrestling again and then to be able to become a world champion you know like I said man, I was the guy who was carrying you know construction tubes trying to go home after the training to see Joseph Benavides fight uh, and you're right favorite fight and here I am I, I've got the belt so I like I said I've far exceeded my expectations um, I'm, I'm very happy with my career and I'm looking forward to keep on building more things to be uh, exceed my expectation.